Hello again everybody. Today I'm going to show you a performance and tutorial for an easy self-working mathematical card trick. I did this one back in 2009 but my performance was a little confusing. I didn't do a tutorial and the video quality was really bad. So I decided to do it again. At the end of the video I'll be announcing the winners of the deck giveaway from my last video. Plus there's going to be another prize giveaway. So for this effect I'm going to be using my Fuchsia bicycle cards. We're going to give the cards a shuffle and we're going to have a spectator select a card. So let's just set some cards down. And now the spectator can choose whatever card they like from these cards right over here. So the spectator can look through the cards and let's say they want the Ten of Hearts. We're going to turn these cards over, have them set them down, have them remember this card and place it on top of that small packet over there. We'll give these cards a little shuffle and set them on top. And now we'll give the cards a cut. And they're remembering their card, the Ten of Hearts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make four piles and we're going to count down from ten. Jacks, queens, and kings are worth ten. Aces are worth one. As I flip the cards over, if I say the value and I happen to turn over a card that matches that value, that will be considered a match and I'll move on to the next pile. If I count down all the way from 10 down to 1 and I do not match any cards, then I'm going to set another card down on top and cap the pile. After I'm done with the four piles, that'll help us find your card. Let's begin. 10, 9, I'm looking for an 8, a 7, a 6, a 5, a 4, a 3. I match the 3, we move on to the next pile. A 10, a 9, an 8, a 7, a 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. I match the one. We're moving on to the next pile. A ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. No match. Put a cap on the pile. And the fourth and final pile. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Match the six. Okay. So we have four piles. Three, one, and six. That's three plus one is four, and six is ten. We'll count ten. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the 10th card should be your card, the 10 of hearts. I really like this one because it's easy, self-working, and requires no setup. All you need to do is count and make sure you have 52 cards. The secret to this trick is number 44. You want the spectator's card to be in the 44th position and it will work every time. So you can shuffle the cards, you can have the spectator shuffle the cards, and then what you're going to do is give them 9 cards. So just take out groups of 3, 6, nine. There's no need to tell them you're giving them nine cards. So you have 43 cards over here. Let's say they take the seven of clubs and they set it on top of the pile. We're going to put it face up for the tutorial. When I set these cards on top, their selection will be in the 44th position. Now you can go right into making four piles, but what I did was a false table cut. I swing cut a small portion of cards, then I swing cut another small portion of cards, holding a little break, and then I set this down on the table, two, three. So once again, one, two, one, two, three. Then you're going to explain to the spectator exactly what I did in the performance. You're going to make four piles. You're going to count down from 10. Jacks, queens, and kings will be worth 10. Aces will be worth one. If you say the card you turn over, that's a match and you'll move on to the next pile. So let me just go through and show you. 10, 9, 8, 7. A match. We move to the next pile. 10. Kings are worth 10. That's a match. We move on to the next pile. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No match. Put a cap on it. And then the fourth pile. 10, 9, 8. There's a match at 8. So let's take a look and see. Over here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 cards. And we're going to count 7. That will get us to 11. 4 plus 7 is 11. Over here we have 1 card. And we're going to count 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. That'll get us to 11. Over here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cards. We capped it with an 11th card, so we're not going to count any, so that keeps us at 11. And over here we have 3 cards, and we're going to count 8. That gets us to 11. So you can see that 11, 11, 11, 11 gets us to the 44th card. So 7 and 10 is 17, and 8 is 25. We count 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and the 25th card is their selection.
If the situation arises where you have all the piles capped, here's what happens. You cap the first pile, second pile, third pile, there's no match. And then you go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, no match. This is the 44th card. So you don't cap this pile. You then say, well, we didn't match this pile, this pile, this pile, or this pile. So I guess this card right over here must be your card. And then you turn it over, and then this is their card, the Seven of Clubs. Here are the prize winners from my last video. Winning a turquoise signed bicycle deck goes to Ty's Magic Tricks. Winning an orange signed bicycle deck goes to The Man with a Thousand Cards. Winning a fuchsia signed bicycle deck goes to Rob Darrell. Winning the discontinued brown bicycle deck goes to H. Catuat. Winning the wow card trick sleeve goes to Tom Caballero. And winning the purple signed rider back deck goes to Oliver Mintz. And now for this week's deck giveaway. I'm giving away eight different signed bicycle decks. A blue, an orange, a black, a fuchsia, a red, a brown, a turquoise, and a purple. All you have to do is leave a comment below, like the video, and I'll be announcing the winners in my next video. Also, check out my website, thecardtrickteacher.com, and my other YouTube channel, Card Trick Teacher. Good luck to everybody. That's it. I'll see you next time.